The Las Vegas Raiders are in an interesting transition right now. When I say transition, it's not a rebuild. This is a retooling offseason. This team has too much talent to be in a quote-unquote rebuild. Okay, so the question now becomes: What's the team's areas biggest? Are the team's areas of biggest need? And I think there's you know a couple. We've outlined this all offseason. There's no secret, but I think it all needs to start. Um, you know, obviously defense is going to be a major concern, but it does need to start up front. Uh, and in terms of that being the biggest message here, I think the Raiders need to stop wasting time. They need to go sign Brandon Scherf, or arguably one of the best guards in football for the last, you know, however long. I mean, since the, um, I, I would easily say since 2015, since he was drafted, just for the last seven, eight years, easily one of the best guards in football. And it's not even a debate. Now, is he going to require a lot of money? Yes, 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 yes. All the money, I would probably say in that 15 to $16 million range. But what you're getting in return is a guy, uh, you know, if you sign him to a three, four year deal, I really think that's in the best interest of the Raiders. Like they are in a place right now where I could see this team being competitive for at least three to four years. I really do. You sign Derek Carr to a contract extension. You uh, you see, decide what you want to do with, that, with Josh Jacobs because I still think he's a great running back. Um, and if you can get him to sign for cheap, uh, you know, on, on the back end of that, that way, you know, you don't have to sign a fourth year running back to, you know, I don't, not even replace him, but to just have a running back at that point, because I, I just, I love Josh Jacobs. I think he needs to stay on the squad. Um, you know, and again, we've been doing trade off trade videos all off season, but that's just to see, Hey, that's what this time of year is all about. Just seeing what you can get, just, you know, putting a whole lot of pins and a whole lot of needles or whatever the saying is just to try to see, you know, what you, you could potentially get for him. But I think Josh Jacobs does need to stay in black for a long time. I really do. Um, I think, you know, if you could just keep him on the Raiders for a while, I think, He's got a, another four or five more years for him uh, that I, I think he could really do a lot of good things. Uh, and I think moving forward that the Raiders need to put a huge emphasis on their offensive line. Obviously, you've got guys like Colton Miller. Um, that's going to be uh, probably one of the best left tackles uh, for for a long time. He is going to be there for a long time. Uh, but after that, it's kind of a big question mark. Uh, you know, and don't get me wrong. You know, uh, there is a lot of good things on this team. Like, there is a lot of, you know, there's nothing wrong with having average players. But the last time I checked, I think the saying goes, don't let en good be the enemy of great. That's absolutely what I feel right now. And obviously, you know, you've got a couple of guys on your offensive line right now. You're kind of wondering what you have, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, you, got, you talk about guys like Alex Leatherwood. That's probably either going to start a guard or tackle at this point. Jury is kind of still out on that. Um Richie Incognito probably is done. I, I would like to see him make a comeback, but, you know, I, and that's the thing, is I think also uh, kind of going back to Brandon Scherf a little bit here quick, everybody kind of puts a lot of stock in the fact that Brandon Scherf is 30 right now. Last time I checked, didn't the Raiders have, like, Richie Incognito uh, past the age of 30, and uh, he was actually really good? Like, I don't, I don't mean to be, you know, um, a little spry here, but let's just be, let's call it what it is. Uh, you know, uh, obviously the Raiders are no stranger to having some older offensive linemen, but when you've got an all time greats, that's right. I'm already calling Brandon Jurf an all time great. Uh, he's at least in the conversation. I don't think you can debate that, uh, that aspect of it. I think, you know, there's, they're just built different. These guys that are the, to, built to have long, um, promising and illustrious careers. Is that the best way to put it? But the point is this. If the Raiders are going to rebuild their offensive line, they need to start by signing the best guard in free agency this year. It's not even a debate. I think a three- or four-year deal would be the best interest of the Raiders for a guy that didn't even allow a sack last year in, what, like almost 700 pass blocking snaps? I mean, don't get me wrong. I think you don't give up on Alex Leatherwood yet. I think you can maybe um, – have him learn behind Brandon Scherf for a year? I, I don't know. But I don't think it's time to give up on Alex Leatherwood. He was coming over from Alabama. And college to NFL, it's such a big jump. It's it, There's a lot of things going on. So overall, you know, I think that the Raiders have a lot of things going on here uh, with their offensive line. You know, you got Andre Giant. Wow, I can't talk today. Andre James, Denzel Good, uh, you know, and John Simpson all in the middle there. You know, and you really just need to see what you want to do uh, overall. But I think it would not definitely be in the Raiders' best interest to sign the best guard in this draft class. Um, and honestly, just do what uh, what has, should have been done this entire time. Bring the best players in so that way you can elevate everybody else. I'm talking elevate the running game for Josh Jacobs. I'm talking elevate the passing game for Derek Carr and everybody else surrounding him. Uh, but I think the Raiders need to make a play, uh, and they need to sign 
Brandon Scherf. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Make sure you guys also uh, remember to uh, give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And in the description down below, which was what I was pointing to, you guys can also find all of our social media platforms, which we would, uh, which we encourage you guys to go ahead and uh, leave a like uh, and uh, make sure you guys give us a follow. Uh, and if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about the las vegas raiders needing to sign brendan scherf